Last night, we had the battle for the number one seed in the Western Conference. It was a tight game in the first half. Third quarter, Jokic took over. Fourth quarter, the Nuggets made it light work of the Timberwolves. The Nuggets look like they have the number one seed locked up at this point. Would you pick any other team outside of the Nuggets in a seven-game series at this point? Uh, you know, if Towns played, maybe I give Minnesota a, a shot there. It's not the same dominance, uh, especially away for the Nuggets that it was, you know, last year where they were clearly the best team in basketball in that West. And it was just a matter of how many games was it going to take them to win a title. I kind of feel like that's how we went through the NBA playoffs last year, especially with what happened in the East with Miami making that you know, ridiculous run to an NBA final. They had no chance against the Denver Nuggets. What's interesting, like you said, a huge win last night. So the Magic numbers won. They have two games to go, one game lead, one and they're Memphis. not. They're playing the yeah. Spurs and Memphis. Yeah. So clearly, they are going to be the number one seed. We pretty much locked it up right now. What's interesting about it is that, to me, the only team that you could make a real argument for right now in the moment that could beat them in a seven-game series is the team nobody talks about and nobody knows a lot about, and that's not Minnesota. It's Oklahoma City. Mm. Oklahoma City is consistently been right at the top of the conference the entire year outside of the MVP love SGA may get when uh, the votes come in, you know, in about a month or so. It's not a, a well-known team. Most people couldn't tell you the starting five on that team. They're not household names other than SGA, right? And I'm sitting here going, they're 30 games over 500. They've been no worse than the three seed the entire regular season, and yet nobody talks about them because they don't have those – you know, uh, tried and true stars the way Phoenix does, the way the Lakers do, the way Golden State does. So to answer your question, right now, today, right now, today. <laughs> right now. Right now. Look, the only team that I would uh, believe in that would give them a legitimate run because of their youth, because they can run up and down the court, because they have depth and a lot of options outside of Alexander – would be Oklahoma City. That'd be my pick. Uh, mine would still be the T-Wolves. Uh, I think, to your point, if Carl Anthony was to play in this game, it would be a lot different. Listen, the Joker put Rudy Gobert in a blender the whole night. He couldn't yeah. do nothing with him. I thought Anthony Edwards, Valley, he had 25 points, was going to have a bigger night. But I think the biggest shocker was, for me now, was, was Jamal Murray. The, the, the mystery team out West, and I say it's a mystery team because we're waiting for, you know, a shoe to drop with an injury because that's what happens, right, would be the Clippers. If you told me that Kawhi Leonard is healthy and plays every playoff game, that George plays every playoff game, Westbrook and on and on, then I could make an argument that based on experience and just pure talent, outside of having the big man that's going to match up with Jokic, which nobody really has anyway, I could see the Clippers making a run, but I just don't trust that they're going to play every game. You know, Kawhi's hurt down the stretch, yeah. as you guys know. Uh, Harden, of course, you know, uh, didn't play. I'm sure he'll be fine for the postseason. You could make an argument that if everybody's healthy across the board, and they're not, but it's for mm -hmm. the sake of the conversation, that the outside of Oklahoma City, the Clippers have the talent to give them a run. The Clippers, the Mavs, the Timberwolves, the Thunder, all those teams could give the Nuggets a run, but I wouldn't pick them against the Nuggets. And one thing that this Well, I wouldn't night, pick anyone against yeah. the Nuggets. And by the way, I think well, the Clippers are the second bet right now. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Got it. So uh, Denver we'll won. The and the Clippers, that's just based on but Kawhi. You never know what's going to happen with Kawhi. But what, if you put the standings back up there, please, because some, this was, there's something that last night's game, as I was watching, and as the Nuggets started to pull away in the second half, I said to myself, do you know what this just tells me? It tells me that you've got Steph and LeBron playing in the, the, the play in <laughs> as the 9 and 10. And they can't be the seven seed. No. So you've got Steph and LeBron there. You're going to see one of those two go out in one game. Yep. And you're going to see one of those two go out in four or five games against right. the Nuggets. I agree. So Steph and LeBron will not be part of these playoffs in about two weeks from today. No. And then you're going to get to know uh, one of those other teams that makes whatever the run is, you know, into the semis, obviously, whether that's exactly. Oklahoma City, whether that's yep. – look, we know the Clippers well. We know the guys on the Clippers very well. Their household names. But you're right. We're going to lose Steph and Clay and LeBron and AD – Quick. By the end of the first round, because like you said, they're not getting out of that 10-9 game. Yep. So the loser of that piece that. out, yep. right? And then the winner gets the eight seed, and they get to play the Denver Nuggets. It, it is it's a wrap. Steph and LeBron West. are basically done. Right? That's last night, because I kind of feel like one of those teams could give the Timberwolves a run. Yeah, you know what the weird thing, though, yeah. is like we, we fall in love with the names that we know. 
And the familiarity is what you know, drives us because you have a rooting interest for or against because you've watched these certain guys play over and over mm -hmm. again. I'm a new blood guy. I like the new team coming in. As much as, as much as I want to see the Stars play you and Harden and Westbrook and George and Kawhi and LeBron and blah, blah, blah. I'm a new blood guy, and I feel that way about sports. I feel that way about broadcasters. I want to I will give someone else a chance yes. once in a while to win. The world needs to know about Lou Dort locking yeah. up. The world needs to know about Jalen Williams and the other Jalen Williams. The world yeah. needs to see Chet Holmgren. Chet Holmgren's I don't a want dog. To see Chet. He's like if get you roasted. Could, I'll tell you what, if you could give me uh, an Oklahoma, I guess two, three, right, circuit matchup. If you could give me an Oklahoma, Oklahoma City Minnesota. Nugget uh, Western Final, I'd sign up for that today. Oh, yeah. I'm all in on that today. So you have Celtics, Knicks in the East. Yep. You have the Blue Bloods, and you get Oklahoma City and Denver out West. I sign up for that today. There's also yeah. one thing that's interesting about the way the seedings because because once Denver last night locked themselves in, a lot of stuff fell, fell into place. Like Luca and Kawhi, the, the two big stars in the four five matchup, which is luck. The winner's playing the Nuggets. Yeah. So that's a second round matchup. So right. it really feels like if the the Western Conference Finals are the way it's trending are going to feature a young team like the, the Thunder or sort of a quote-unquote new team like the Timberwolves. Yeah, now yeah. yesterday on the show, speaking of basketball, I, I told you you guys poo-pooed it because for some reason that's this relationship we have right now. I, I give you pearls, you poo-poo the pearls. I told you about this legendary player that you guys mocked, Eugene Sneaks. Eugene Sneaks. Yesterday. Yeah, from who, Birmingham? Who could uh, stack a, a roll of quarters on the Where, top of the uh, uh, backboard. Birmingham? He's from Mississippi. Mississippi. A uh, backwoods yeah. Mississippi. Well, you know, your wife's from Mississippi. Mississippi. Yep, so yeah, your family yeah. there. Yep, he ain't yeah. even from Jackson. He's yeah. from the like the swamps, swamps. of Mississippi. Yeah, swamp so I spent all day yesterday because mm. you guys poo pooed the story. But nobody's ever heard of him. Jacoby Googled okay. him and couldn't find him. You can't find somebody on Google. Doesn't come up in Google. It's, 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 uh, you should have binged him. It's what you should have oh, done. Yeah. All right, yeah, you guys have yeah, binged him. That's the problem. You know, I apologize. Yeah, so, I apologize. Next time I'll ask. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.